I am Eileen Howie. I'm a relationship coach. Uh, my company is Change of Heart Coaching. And um, I work with couples and families who want to improve their relationships. So the top three tips for co-parenting that I would offer um, would be, first of all, um, don't put the children in the middle. Uh, it's important that, that they are they they are protected and and you you separate your feelings from um, the children. My second top tip for co-parenting would be for you to understand that you are both going to parent differently. I mean that that was probably obvious when you were together that you both parent differently. When the child is at one parent's. There, there are going to be different rules um, in one house than the other, and that's okay. So you need to agree as, as co-parents what are going to be the common rules, uh, and, and those are non-negotiable, uh, whether it be the child's bedtime, uh, where they go to school, uh, you know how how you deal with with uh, health issues, uh, just you know anything that you feel is non-negotiable, and everything else is basically don't sweat the small stuff. If if within reason, you know if unless there's uh, any concern about risk of harm to the children, what happens at mom's house or at dad's house? should stay at mom's or dad's house because it's their house. They make the rules. I mean, you wouldn't expect the partner, your ex-partner, to come into your house and say, this is how it's going to be because it's your house. I, I hate the term broken home. It's not a broken home. My third top tip for co-parenting would be to talk to your children about the situation just because mommy and daddy aren't living together anymore they're still loved by both mommy and daddy, that they will still be able to go and stay at daddy's house and they will be able to stay at mommy's house and they will be able to have fun with mommy or daddy without it, you know, without the other person getting angry or upset with them. Um, so th this is why it's important to deal with those feelings before this because that's what the children are going to need to hear. So it's um, just making sure that the children are as secure as possible in your love and, and the whole situation. And a nice way to put it to them is that they don't just have one family anymore. They have, they have two of everything. They're lucky. They have two homes, two, you know, two families to go to. And, uh, yeah, so it's, it's just putting a positive, um, uh, viewpoint on it. And, and that will help them in the end. What I do really is help families and couples who are all in relationships, we're all in a relationship with other people, um, to help them look within themselves, to understand um, what they want out of life, to then come to an agreement on what their shared hopes and dreams and visions and goals are to help them uh, live the kind of life that they want to live, make sure that they're all on the same page really. I offer coaching sessions one-to-one um, -one in my local area. So I live in the Bromley area so we could meet in a local cafe or a quiet spot that you you know of, um, or I will do sessions over the phone, uh, which isn't isn't that ideal. I, I would much prefer to do them over Skype because we can then you know we can see each other and it's always easier to connect when you are looking the person in the eyes. Um, yeah, and so doing them over Skype also allows me to work with people wherever they are really. I mean, I 
my children all live in Canada and I speak with them on Skype quite frequently so um, it, it works well most of the time. <laughs> if you um, are interested in learning more about uh, how, how I can help you as a relationship coach please uh, feel free to contact me. I will I do offer um, introductory sessions of around 20 minutes um, for you to it's no obligation um, just to, to have a chat with you um, to see if if we connect with each other and if you would like to uh, go further in the in the coaching relationship with me so I invite you to do that <laughs>